Hi, this is Ezekiel Chiu, Forex Trader, Fund Manager and Coach at Asia Forex Mentor. So in this video, I'll be revealing what I do on a weekly basis and I'll be sharing my analysis for this week, 30th of March 2015. So you can refer to this video throughout the week to spot for trade setups. The analysis in this video will be my trading plan for the week. Alright, in my weekly analysis videos, I'll be sharing pairs that have possible setup for the week or pairs that are worth taking note. So last week I talked about a couple of pairs. One of them is the gold, right? XAUUSD. So I mentioned that um, the next bar should shoot up, right? And then look, it did went up from the out from right after which all the way up to whew, um close to 3,500 3, pips, right? And then uh, now gold would be meeting a, a a middle middle size I would say support or resistance area which you can see there was um, there's some um, support here right resistance here and over here so over the over time it went slightly lower to to the bars over here and the highs over here so which is why it, it kind of stopped right here right here so um, I would say if it, if it does breaks up, it will need a little bit more momentum. So for us who had traded, we should kind of take profit over here. And then maybe gold will probably go sideways a, a while more before determining what is the trend. Alright, for now, it will probably not shoot down or massively out, up from this um from this trend line that I've drawn, all right? From this trend line and also the most recent one, which is the white line, the 365. So it is kind of like in a congested zone, waiting for any major news to, to break it up, to push it up. Any And the news will be coming from the dollar, all right? Any major um, positive news or negative news in the dollar would, would decide, right, where the goal will, prob will head to. But as for now, it will be converging kind of in this zone. Right. Okay. So, um, so the next pair. Okay. Dollar Swiss franc. Dollar Swiss franc. Last week I mentioned that um, here was the resistance area where it went down. Right. It went down, and the last week I mentioned it will probably head down a little, a little bit one more, so we should get a quick profit. Right. So from last week, from the right after it closed all the way, it went down to two hundred fifty pips, which is nice. Right. So it should probably go down a while before before determining it could hit if it hits back again to try this for the third time then it's going to most likely going to break up already all right so i mentioned to take quick profit last week and i believe that those who have traded this pair should take profit along the way it's 250 pips pretty pretty big okay so the next pair that i mentioned is the gbp chf right um two weeks ago i mentioned about this solid trade Last week, I mentioned it went down by 400 pips, right? This week, uh, then after which I mentioned it will go head down probably a little more, right? It went down by another 400 pips. Whew. And then it looks like it's kind of trying to head, head down further, right? So, um, maybe we, it will probably stop some, meet some resistance, maybe along the way, the lows here, right? We can see some lows here, some lows here. So... The next point where it stop, it will probably get to get stored somewhere around here, where where we have a couple of lows over here. So if you going, if you are trading this pair, right, be sure to take profit somewhere here, just to play safe, okay. And now this week I will be talking about a new pair, which is the CAD JPY, right? The CAD JPY, what we can see is it has been. Let me just go to the right weekly. It has been consolidating sideways, right? Pretty much sideways. And then um, it is also meeting the Bollinger Band, right? which is uh, an area of um, support. So right now, if you go down to the daily time frame, we can see that here it is trying to break this area, which I mark with the red line over here. It's trying to break this area. So it tested one time, two time. Third time is going to test it again. But this area is still a pretty solid area, I would say, because of the previous resistance uh, support level and also the Bollinger on the weekly time frame. So what I'll be looking at is for 
a confirmation closure below the red line. If it does close below, then I know that it's, it's going to head down to the next level. Where, where will it stop next? Most likely this red level, which, is mark, which, is, which I mark it with by the lowest point over here. So once it, if I see a bar that closes below here, I'll be looking for to, to short it and then to take profit somewhere around here or maybe slightly higher. Okay, so this is the CAD JPY. The next pair is the New Zealand dollar. New, New Zealand dollar form a, a nice looking pin, right, on the weekly time frame. Um, but I would I would be a little bit wary of this pin, right? A little bit wary because the last the last bar was a very strong bullish green bar, which indicates a very strong buying momentum. And if I go down to the daily time frame, right? Um, here was a strong area which I mentioned, right? So here was a nice rejection which went down. So it's testing right up again and this time it did broke through but it got rejected by the Bollinger Band and then hit back up. What I do not like the fact is that um, it, has broken, it has broken up from the red line. So it, it's, it's, I, I don't like the fact that the, the old support and resistance level has been broken. So with that, and it's it's not the first time it's getting rejected. It's the here was the first time where it got rejected after the old the old support level. So here was a strong area, but this time now was not that strong, and it did broke up, and then it came back down. So I would say New Zealand dollar for me, I would stay out. I would stay out from this pin bar, even if it hits down all the way. I have no regrets. I will stay this out. In my turn, in my uh, the probability for this pair, it's um not that safe. For me, all right. So the next pair is the GBP GBP CAD. Okay, GBP CAD form an interesting pin bar, which is which which is stopped by the which I drawn a red line here, which is by the previous highs. All right, so I can see so we can see all the previous highs over here. So I indicate a previous high, which is the strong resistance level. So now it's heading back down for the first time to all the previous high, and it form a nice looking pin bar. Okay, but nevertheless, this is a reversal pin, right? It's not a trend continuation pin. This is a reversal pin. Reversal pin, we need to be a little bit more safe. So if I go down to the daily time frame, right? It the re another reason why it stopped is because it had met the one fifty Bollinger Band, uh, one hundred fifty uh moving average. So what I would say is, I would wait for a a closure above the green line more or less above the green line to kind of indicate that it is going to go up even though it goes up it will probably hit down a little bit more and then hit back up again so and i'll look at a lower time frame to for for a signal to buy but i'll still wait for a good closure above the the green bar which is the which is the high of the pin for me to indicate a buy and if it does go up i i will i will take profit the ma maximum reveal will be at this red level, which is marked by the highs over here. Okay, so here's the analysis for this week. And now, see you next week.